Yeah. I'ma keep on walking to the sun up. Till I get my body and my chain. Yeah. Doubting my life when I dropped out of class and I'll fuck you to college. They scamming your ass and you don't even know what the fuck you there for. Government made you the puppet, you know. Ain't nobody gonna tell you. But the only ones that stay on boat. Yeah. Please wear your mask, they go save you. Stupid motherfucker, that's a joke. Yeah. Once he starts calling, the calling won't stop to my Lord Jesus Christ. We ain't praying enough. Here we go, 2024 Mustang GT Dark Horse. And I'm gonna tell you guys something, at first in pictures, I was skeptical just like everyone else, but now seeing it in person, the wheels, big wheels, big brakes, Brumbo's up front, Brumbo's in the rear. Also check out the interior, same spec as the one I ordered, bluer cars, but we did get the manual. We did not go 10 speed on this one. It's got the drift brake, got the, the big wing in the back. This looks, it looks really good. The front is a lot sharper than I imagined, and then the back kicks out perfect, because you know everyone was saying the back looks like the Camaro, but it really doesn't in person. It, I don't think it does at all. Front lip looks good. I love all the gloss black accents. You can see down here, gloss black, and then it comes up to like that satin finish. Super, super clean, nice job with that. We also have a regular GT right back here, and then we got a Raptor R. So you gotta show you the difference between the dark horse. Oh, you can see that with that little light on it right there. Look at that paint. That paint is so nice. And I believe this is the spoiler. Yep, this is the one with the gurney flap. You can see it's got the four bolts, one, two, three, four on each side, two on each side, just like the GT500 has. Deck lid's kind of weird. You guys can see up close in person. Tail lights looks kind of cool. Need to swap those out to the Euros 100% once the white one comes in. And you know, everyone said they didn't like the back end and I wasn't a fan in pictures either, but now seeing it, it doesn't look bad. Exhaust tips, perfect. The rear diffuser is perfect. Looks really good. Super happy, super, super happy that I was able to order one. Looks so good. For some reason, this Mustang gives a more track purpose, um, like presence to me. This kind of reminds me of the Shelby GT350R, just the way the front wheels are and the camber of it. You can see they definitely are cambered in. It does have, I don't know if these are the exact tires that it's gonna be running from the factory. These could still be on like production tires. Um, so you never know, they could just throw on different tires for the event, but check this out. You can see the big brakes, one of big Brumbos, definitely bigger brakes than Apollo. And I kind of like how they do that light right there. That looks sick. Dark Horse emblem looks sick. You guys check that out up in person beautiful all the way around headlights look really good and down to even the front end check out the front end with the grill let's go over this we got the vents there and it does have a light right up there it doesn't have the fog lights though which is kind of weird um i've never seen uh like a, kind of a si50 look front end without the fog light so i don't know how i feel about that yet i need to see the lights turned on but it does have a lot of venting i can tell you that right now for both intakes so you guys remember this has the dual intake dual throttle body so obviously each air inlet for each side i can tell you one thing this car is getting so much more air than apollo did from the factory every vent hole that one's open up down there all these are open up down there that's opened up that's opened up everything you guys can see is fully functioning holes are wide open which looks sick and then you have the functioning hood vent dead center i do love that a lot it kind of resembles the shelby gt350 um how they had the vent in the middle which is very good because you got air flowing in from here and the hot air exchanging coming out right there so it's very very good for track purposes keeping the iet's very low even down to the front splitter it looks very more aggressive than the regular performance pack it just looks like it's meant to be on there um the material is definitely different i can tell you that just by looks um looks like a little thicker type of material like a plastic that they would have on the raptor you can see down there it looks super super sturdy all right so this is the regular gt i believe brandon do you think this is the performance pack of the gt since it has the big grumbos on it front and rear all right so this is like the one you ordered but just you got the yellow one yeah hey sx50 gang and look at this raptor r brother bronco raptor raptor r and you guys remember i this wasn't the one i drove there's no chance it's the one i drove but if it was go check out that video that was awesome we raced this versus shelby gt500 Race this versus um, on my Raptor Yeti. Absolutely put bus links on me. But this one does look good. A regular GT does look good. Big Brumbos up front. Nice wheels. These wheels actually don't look bad. I would assume they're 19s, not 20s. The Brumbos look sick, dude. The Brumbos, I'm super happy with that. Hood vent in the middle, very different. And you can check out the interior way more on this one because now it's opened up and you can see full dash, carbon fiber accents right there. Center looks nice. We're gonna be able to jump in this one, take another look at it in a second. Nice spoiler, you can see. It, it kind of goes off the performance pack of the earlier year, like we had on Apollo, the 2020, but this definitely does open it up and change it. All right, Brandon, how do you feel? I was talking to them about the rear bumper, 
because we all know everyone was like the rear the rear bumper doesn't look good because of the black but it doesn't look bad yeah i thought it looks pretty good it doesn't the part i don't like about the car is how it bubbles out and i think we can probably wrap this black yeah you can probably wrap that black but everything else but i love mine has the black package on it so it'll have the black floor the roof the mirrors i got different wheels yeah and i got this one has the red seat belts that i got and they look the brakes on the back even look amazing look how big they are so just so you guys know this is the emergency brake that's the same emergency brake that's on the gt500 that's electronic and then this is for the drift brake that is the one that will lock up once you pull that handle yes sir all right first walk and sit down in the new interior right off the bat recaros are a lot nicer than i expected same feel as the regular gt getting in oh my god the recaros are good steering wheel feels really nice wow the modes active modes right there carbon fiber look this how nice these look. oh the shifter dude the shifter feels perfect and this one has the red seat belts i wish this was an option for the dark horse but it isn't mine has this so they did change up the sides a little bit because this is the same this is the only thing that really looks generally the same yeah, the, door the door handles that yeah, feels a lot but the dash everyone was complaining about the dash dude i like the dash a lot guys like the the wraparound looks nice it's very driver oriented all the stuff down here it's very 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 clean very clean setup nice very nice center this feels a lot better than the regular ones they, they definitely switch materials when it comes to this carbon fiber everywhere wireless charging pad here which is sick carbon fiber vents and then this one will be like dark horse on mine will have the dark horse and the number along the side so that's pretty awesome got the rearview mirror looking the same you guys can see the back red seat belts all the way in the back absolutely beautiful same center console oh it looks like they made it a little bit bigger i would say everything feels nice everything feels really good wow all right guys we just jumped in the convertible and the dash is on so we can actually look at the mode so look you got custom normal look how it configures watch i'm gonna put you guys around so you guys get a better view normal sport that looks sick track i like how the color changes then it goes to drag strip that looks like oh drag strips in white that's a must so i guess there's a time limit on it when it does it but check out the full thing this is now this is full lit up you got the performance cluster there that looks sick look at how dude the dash is smooth guys this is beautiful like when i tell you i cannot wait to get the dark horse because i'm going to be daily driving mine and uh not many people are probably going to be daily driving there so this is going to become my new daily check out all the features my mustang oh you can custom everything that's so sick track apps brake performance lap time dude the dash is so fast so oh yeah here's the exhaust modes guys we got quiet which normal sport and the track same in modes obviously as the rest of them and then cluster theme oh so look i'm gonna go to track configure that calm screen that's super sick normal scroll down we gotta get the fox body one oh yeah i forgot about that oh my this is it here watch out let me see this oh this is how mine's gonna be 24 7. that is so nice and the headlights are on you got the green theme that is so sick wow that is so badass the track look at the thing. fuel thing 160. it really is just like the fox Bay. this is the same as ricky i mean not obviously the same but just that little section right there where the analog gauges used to be that were not accurate at all that looks so good talking about <laughs> it goes good, doesn't it? yeah it's smooth you're smooth with it that's the thing you want to be is just take your time be nice and smooth you know what i mean okay. yeah squeeze on the gas gotta keep the car balanced yeah and it's solid foot brake so it makes a big difference yeah you know what I mean? so again you'll feel that no lift shift so i'm gonna start easy yeah but no lift shift you gotta be over actually handle a lot better than the regular GT. 
Yeah. Yeah. It really does. I can feel it. So, so here, you can see the LCs on. Yes. So you know that with your car too. So here we go. Good with that apex, spot on. <laughs> spot on. Hey, thank you so much for coming out. No problem. Hope you have a great day, sir. Have fun driving all day. That's you got the best I'm, job in the world. That's what I'm gonna do all day long, brother. You're having a blast. You be safe today. You too. Give the Mustang hell for me. I will. <laughs> that's awesome. Have fun, G. Okay. That was awesome. That was beautiful. I'm gonna take my turn now. Have fun. Alrighty, you guys just watched The Dark Horse and we wrapped up the video with the Mach 1 driving experience. That was absolutely insane. Um, that professional Ford Performance driver put some respect on the Mach 1's name. I was more than happy with it. That, that event, the whole day, I mean, I had filmed so, so much. I broke this video up in a couple parts for you guys. So this is the first part of the video of Barrett Jackson. There will be a part two. I don't even know if I'll have enough for a part three, but... Here's the part one, and I wanted to talk about the dark horse a little bit because you guys know um, a lot of people were complaining about the um, rear bumper, the plastic, you know, and seeing it in person, I can tell you guys honestly, like all my videos, I'm, I'm not just saying stuff to say it, I truly, it looked a lot better in person than in pictures, I'll tell you that right off the bat. Um, once you guys, it hits the dealers and hits the streets, you guys will see it. Once I, I get my dark horse, I'll show you guys. I'll take a million different pictures, a million different angles, post them up. Um, my regular S550 2020 and then the Shelby. Every, I'll put everything up together so you guys can see comparisons. And then also with the interior, I can do that too once mine comes in. Put them side by side, show you guys the dash. And I show you guys a little bit of the dash in this video. Um, it is very more driver oriented, which I did like a lot. Um, a lot of people said it looked cheesy, look kind of like a, like someone even said a Mercedes dash. And I mean, you you guys know all the screens are eventually going to look the same everyone's doing their own little twist and spin off it but i can tell you this um it is very custom um it's very custom like you can do anything you want with the dash there was like six or seven different i believe it was six six drive modes that you can do with the dash so it's very cool there's a lot of stuff you can make personal do it up the way you want for um anywhere from drag racing ro uh, road course racing drifting like the opportunity is endless with the Mustangs, and that's why I like this new generation S650. They're kind of hitting every spectrum of racing that you could take a regular Mustang GT or a Dark Horse 2, and you, it will perform well in every category. That's what I like about it. So thank you so much, Ford, for having me at Bear Jackson. I absolutely loved it. It was one of the best experiences I had. So thank you guys so much. And before I forget, make sure you guys grab some merch. Run it up. I'm not going to be running it forever. I'm telling you all that right now. The Stein Racing Division shirts will be coming to a close very very, very soon so thank you guys so much grab some coffee and stay blessed i will catch y'all in the next one peace